What is that? Can I try this mesh situation on top? On top of this? Yes, on top Are of you out of your mind? We're getting styled by Gen Zers. Everything you've heard about Gen Z not liking skinny jeans is true. What's wrong with my skinny jeans? Look at my booty. Are these backwards? You look like an old married couple ran at each other <laughs> and turned into one person. Thanks to Crocs for sponsoring today's video. French talk? Yeah. The Z generation, the last of the alphabet. They're the new kids, they get to decide what's cool. I don't understand their fashion, and frankly it intimidates me. I see kids dressing like the 90s. You know when hip hop was just dance like this? Uh, it's like baggy pants. What if they come in and they're like, Keith, you should be wearing cargo pants. No! Can't go back. They're just reviving everything. A bunch of hope, happiness, and rainbows. Oh, bucket hats. Basically anything Olivia Rodrigo wears. Skinny jeans? Oh, chuggy. Do they even say chuggy? Got a little bit chuggy. We have video submissions in where Gen Zers are going to tell us what they don't like about our fashion, and then they're gonna suggest new looks for us. And then professional stylist Audrey Brienne is going to bring their vision to life. I'm a millennial, meaning that I've been through a lot of shit. Look at me, I dress in all black and freaking boots. I'm war ready at any freaking time. In 2008, the market crashed and it ended all our jobs. That's why I dress like this and that's why I act like this. <laughs> I wrote about testing my fashion fears for the book and then I realized I'm okay just being me. <laughs> I wear skinny jeans almost exclusively. Apparently it's not cool anymore. Isn't it always cool to have a nice butt? Has your hard drive ever overheated while you were working on something? No, because you're Gen Z. -er. Have you ever had dial-up internet? No, because you're Gen Z. -er. We've seen Adam Levine without tattoos. Have you? No, because you're freaking Gen Z. -er. <laughs> I think I've had a bit of a fashion glow up in the last couple years. Then 2020 came, took a bit of a glow divot. My style, I would say, is close, comfy, and um, convenient. <laughs> Shout out to people who wear the same pants every day for a week. Whatever's on the floor, that's what's going back on my body. You feel me? You feel me? Can I hear a hell yeah? Hell yeah! I've decided that I will wear all of the same color. That way I know it matches. One of my favorite outfits, I call it yellow fruit salad. I'm mostly wearing yellow, and then there's a little pop of blue. A little nod to the old key. Becky hates this outfit. Easter came in April, the world started opening up, and I said, this is the vibe I want to ride on for a while. Colors that would look good on eggs. I'm kind of the skin tone of an egg. This video is sponsored by Crocs. That's right, your boys got Crocs money. I've actually never worn a croc or crocodile, perhaps is the full name, no? Now Zach, you're a big Crocs fan, right? Celebos are wearing Crocs, and guess what? Zach Kornfeld started wearing Crocs. You're going to walk around the house? Psh, these things. Maggie's a nurse. Psh, these things. Honestly, I've never even held one. I was like, it's so light. It's like a marshmallow shoe. Oh, am I Cinderella? <laughs> You got these little gibbets, you can you can pop them in, you can customize them. So you can get them at a store near you or at crocs.com. This is fun. It's like charm bracelets for my feet. When I was a kid, I, I would like paint, you know, the tennis shoes I had. I was always like, like, let's add some fun to it. So the fact that these are built to add fun to, do we have any? Yeah. Do we have a yellow fruit? We had a pineapple. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? I am fully now a fruit salad. Oh, what's that? I'm about to be chased by a mythical beast? Boom, sports mode. Now no one can catch me. <laughs> it feels nice. It makes me want to walk like I'm in a video game. Crocs, you get to show your personality on your feet. These are fun, they're like a tie-dye rainbow. Sport, sport mode, mode activated. activated. Croc, croc, croc. Hello, platform Crocs. <laughs> oh yeah. Galen, what do you think? Good. Shortest try guy? Not anymore. Thanks, Crocs. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Oh, she's giggly, I like her. Hi, right off the bat, millennial man. Is there anything wrong with that? No, because Keith does it well. That's right, I do it good, baby. The nicest way I could describe how Ned currently dresses is he's like just some guy. <laughs> I don't mean that in a mean way. Kind of felt mean. I like the way you dress. Nice. I just don't love it. <laughs> You have this very soft boy look that can be used as your strength. Wait, soft boy is the name of a look? That's me. 
I am soft boy. I do take a lot of inspiration from androgynous creators. Androgynous. This is Maggie's jacket. I take a lot of inspiration from J-Hope, Jimin. I'm sorry. Are we talking about BTS, Dana? So for today's look, I wanted to combine Jimin's in real life style with his stage persona. Shut the f up. Blouses, like harnesses with a sweater vest. Blouses and harnesses? Harness sounds painful, but maybe it would help with my posture. Walk out in that outfit thinking that everyone around you is your bitch and you don't care what anyone thinks. You're my bitch. What's up, bitch? You are my bitch. You, you're my bitch. <laughs> There's not much shape. It's all like a rectangle. It just goes straight down. Uh, I don't even know what you mean when you say shape. Everything you've heard about Gen Z not liking skinny jeans is true. Time to f*** out. What's wrong with my skinny jeans? Look at my booty. I'm also really influenced by the musicians I like. I listen to a lot of Lil Nas X. Really what we want to do is go absolutely wild with the accessories. Oh no. Instead of just doing a normal belt, I want something chunky, maybe something with chains on it, maybe like a corset belt. Chains? Chains. Chains? Add chains to the outfit. Androgynous, edgy, confusing to old people. If you get those three down, you're good. I think they're gonna turn me into what you Gene wears all the time. I feel like my main complaint is that I'm bored. Yeah. I take a lot of style inspiration from like the mid 1980s. Big chunky thick boots, rolling your jeans. Come on. Like, Creole, what do you want me to do? I'm already here. The style that I have put together for Quazy today, think like Miami Vice type Ooh, of jacket. I'm with this. Some like chain necklaces, maybe even a choker. I'm scared of things around my neck. I think it would be cool to put Quazy in like one of those underbust corsets. The f <laughs> Yeah, what? <laughs> I grew up in Brooklyn in like the 90s and the early 2000s, and it's not the Brooklyn that it is today. I always was the guy who was like, hey, I'm not a part of showing a lot of attention so anyone can pay attention to me. I'm always gonna play the background. What Marie is saying, she wants me to stand out a bit and that f***ing terrifies me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am taking inspo for Keith's style from Mr. Tyler, the creator, actually. <laughs> what? Here's what I'm getting from Keith. He has that little preppy vibe as well. Californian, he more casual. So I want to make him this indie soft boy, almost skater type. I'm so scared of skateboarding. If you get your hands on like the ugliest sweater and you're like, is this fashionable? It probably is. Is Gen Z fashion millennial joke fashion? This idea of like purposefully dressing sort of garish and bad that we would do for themed parties. Is that Gen Z basic style? Is it our fault? You want to see Keith in maybe a pair of utility looking cargo pants. Oh no! We just need to unpack a moment here. Everything that she said she wanted to see me in was what I was wearing in the first ever Try Guys Get Made Over by Teenagers. All this time I've been running towards something I thought I should be and I find out I should have just stayed how I was. I'd love to see it. I am Audrey Brienne. I'm an LA based stylist specializing in celeb wardrobe styling. We've got our Crocs, got all kinds of accessories. It's gonna be great. You've got like a Tyler the Creator situation. That's right. Inc wow. I wanna try this guy on first. I never wear cozy clothes. Yeah. Okay. When I'm wearing this, I feel like I'm going to bed. In a bad way? No. So Dana has a, a gym inspired look for yeah, the day? Yeah, she does. Cool ripped denim, pattern, oh paisley corduroy. Okay, wow, high waisted. Yeah. Very high waisted. Very. Little pirate vibes. It's very loose. That's so. That's, that's how like, it's supposed to be. That's in it's right very now. Very loose. Oh, and tie dye is super in tie -dye right is now. In? It is everywhere. Like a parachute. Like, would you ever in never. life? Yeah, I, I, let me finish the sentence for you. I will never <laughs> wear this in my life. Okay. Good tuck or no tuck? No tuck, please. No tuck. I didn't yeah. know. This is what I would do. Cuff this all the way. Yeah. But all of the shirts right now, they're long. They are very long. I think I like just finally got a mediocre physique and they're just trying to cover it up. <laughs> oh, wow. These are so comfortable, you guys. <laughs> so you're telling me I can wear pajamas and Crocs to the office and it's considered a good thing? This is actually really cute. You feeling it? I'm saying it's cute because it is. Like I might get the Essence Fest or something like that, you know what I mean? Get my LO Cool J on with the... I Ooh. think that's kind of cool. That's scary. <laughs> can I wear that hat? What do we think? No? How about no? This is less creepy. I'm getting a reaction in the room that this 
made it not creepy anymore. I'm ready to hypnotize people <laughs> with my crotch. The button at the bottom, I would undo that one. Like, Cause you wanna let people be hypnotized by the crotch. Hey Things let kind my of belly blend. hair air out. <laughs> It's blousey. I feel like standing still and just like playing with my belly button. I don't know if that freaks anyone out in the world. Yeah, you don't even want to look at it, huh? No, no. <laughs> I'm, we're all here right now. <laughs> what is that? Can I try this mesh situation on top? On top of this? Yes, on top. Are of you it. out of your mind? I don't know. You're gonna look me in the eyes and tell me this is not a Luke. It's a Luke. Oh! <laughs> oh, yo, can I have this? Yes. No, for real, for real. Yeah, for real. French duck? <laughs> French duck? Yep. Although, I would listen to this person's experimental music. I just can't wait to move to Sweden and start my real life. <laughs> Gen Z. Yeah. It's just like, really, like walk in the room and everyone's like, oh, snap, <laughs> who's that? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I don't want. <laughs> you know, Olivia Rodrigo follows me. Does I she know, follow you guys? So upsetting still. So why did we didn't? We don't have to bring that into this video. We're trying to just like bring more color and kind of a different silhouette and look to Quasi's wardrobe. We're gonna make him look hip and trendy. Hey, open your eyes. Whoa! You look so fly. Do I? Yeah. It looks real. And that just puffed me up. It you, looks like you could really wear it. You saw somebody dress like this before? No. Well, I haven't. <laughs> you like I it? I mean. Uh, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> actually. There he is. No, I don't like it. No, no. The belt is just much, but it's great for my figure. You're looking but, cinched, bro. Yeah? Cinched? Singed. Oh, singed. 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 Like singed. birds? No, no, not singed. <laughs> not singed. Not singed. You just look so expensive. I do? This outfit Pretty is crazy, <laughs> dude. The pink shirt is a no bueno. I only could wear this for a couple of minutes before I start losing my breath. <laughs> the pants are way too big. The boots is okay if it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely pulling this off head to toe. Yeah. Are you serious? You really are. Yo, know, these are all lies, guys. <laughs> I yeah. think it's because you always carry yourself with a lot of confidence in your physicality. So um, even though you yourself don't like it, when you're walking around, you're fully owning it anyway. Ah, oh, Keith. Like, let me take the sunglasses off. Okay, with more brighter light, it looks okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Historically, Ned has become a lesbian more than once in our transformation videos. You look like a really hot, artistic lesbian mom. Snaps yeah. to that. What kind of lesbian is Ned gonna be today? Right? <laughs> he, he pulls it off. Word. Dude, I can't <laughs> with you. You're too cool. I want to do something a little bit more out there. Something that plays around with gender a bit. A relatively dark color scheme, sort of grungier style. It's very different, but honestly, I think he could pull it off. Honestly, it's me for me. <laughs> wow! Yes! Dad. So many piercings! That's it. Ned. Yeah. Now, Ned, is that a leather handbag or? How dare. Did you hear what I Zach just said? Oh, yeah. You would never. Or wait, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel comfortable? Yeah, like walk around every day. I'm gonna go grab some milk. You like milk? Sometimes. What's, you know what I like? What's up? Oat milk. Copy that. I only drink. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let Ned see himself. I feel like you don't, okay. you don't even know really what you look like. No, I've just been in character this whole time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the long capey look. Like the silhouette is really fun. I've never seen you in something like this. One of the roasts that they gave me was they would like to see something like with a bit more structure. The thing they keep coming with like we're, we dress boring. How dare they? I mean, I mean, look at Keith and then look at you and me. Yeah. <laughs> True. It's very rock starry. But you know, we live in LA. I promise you, you could go to anywhere you normally go and no one would bat an eyelash at you dressed like this. Yeah, that's true. I really like this shirt on you. Thank you.
I'm feeling like like the guy at the front row at the fashion show. I feel like I should leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming increasingly uncomfortable with in my own skin. I accept you for who you are, but um, yeah, you should leave. Nothing's off limits for me. If I just feel like wearing whatever, I will yeah. wear that. And I want to just take this a couple notches up. A few days later, they rolled away the stone. There I was. <laughs> wow. Move over, Easter eggs. It's time for Fabergé. That's the one. This is not that That's far off for you. Fresh. But I love this look. I really like the Crocs and the socks. Crocs, Crocs, and, Crocs and socks. And socks. Yes. I didn't know if you could wear socks and Crocs. Turns out it works. Love the glasses. I wish they were prescription. <laughs> I can't see anything. Once again, I never would have thought that you could do those two patterns on top of each other, but I'm full on board. And these short pants? I'm too tall for short pants. It does feel a little bit like I'm in a musical, right? <sighs> oh yeah, I get musical vibes now. You look like Johnny Knoxville as a grandpa. I, it is like grandpa core, it's Easter core. You look like a kid from the 80s who's going over to Thanksgiving dinner in Brooklyn. Yeah. And everything about it is soft. <laughs> Every single piece oh, of fabric, oh, so everything soft. soft. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, oh, it's so soft. soft. Yeah. For oh. me, it doesn't feel like soft clothes or for going out in the world. But this is for going out in the world. You know what, Keith? You are one soft boy. I must be a soft boy. So I'm gonna do double glasses just to see. Yeah, I'm just an odd character in a movie. This is the DJ at the pool party that just goes, what's up, Sean? <laughs> I'm back there, I'm spinning. Everything about this outfit, I'll wear. You'd wear this? Everything about really? this outfit. Really? All black crazy yeah, would yeah, wear yeah. this. That's super fresh. It really fresh. looks like I'm about to do a terrible rap. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where Gen Z's meet up now, not the mall. I feel like everyone goes to the mall, right? Yeah, Jake, right. are you okay. a Gen Zer? Technically, I think I'm a Gen Zer. Do Gen Zers hang out at malls? They do. They movie theaters. Yeah. You have this delicate energy about you that I really think can suit the software look. So let's get into it. Hello, Gen Z. Once you gym in, you don't gym out. Oh, wow. <laughs> It looks like a pocket square on his neck. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> you look like an old married couple ran at each other <laughs> and turned into one person. Dana's whole idea, she wanted to allow both my masculine and my feminine to rise out. I don't know what I look like, but I feel like she nailed it. The pants are comfy, the blouse is super comfy. The blouse is not something I would ever wear. Oh, it's a blouse. You know, it's like a little bit of Prince. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a real person. <laughs> I don't know if this is full Jimin. Army may be uh, protesting this one. You know, weirdly, it doesn't work without the sunglasses. If I take these off, I'm like, what the f is going on? Like, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. The style is, is just such a clash of different things. It's a Jackson Pollock of fashion. Come through Jackson Pollock. I know things. I don't think I would ever wear this vest or realistically this hat, but I learned a lot through looking through all the looks today. This is the first time that I've really felt like I've had full fun with an outfit in about two years. I think you actually would wear that hat. <laughs> I actually like definitely think you'd wear that yeah. vest. Yeah, I don't no. want you to, because no. you'd be insufferable. Can't stop me now. Wow. Wow. This was so much fun. Thank you to all of our Gen Zers for helping inspire our looks and giving us something fun to do today. It inspires me to take some more risks in my own fashion. And thanks to Crocs for sponsoring this video. Zach took my Crocs, um, so I'm gonna have to take them back. Subscribe to these guys' videos, man. They're nice guys, right? Peace. I feel like a witch came and turned a turtle into a person. And now they're like trying to find their way through life. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you a turtle? <laughs>